empower, yes, God. and elevate. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, musician, don't go nowhere. Uh -uh. Don't, don't, unless you, you got, I'm sorry, you got to take, you need a break. No, no, I need you on the camp. I, I need you right there. Because cause, we going to hit it, and we ain't going to quit, and we going to get on back to where we came from. Is that all right? Amen. Is that all right? Okay. Equip to educate, empower, and elevate. Now, I need a strong reader. I don't want nobody weak. Read no scripture. And I ain't calling nobody weak. But I, I need a strong reader. Can I have a strong reader? Somebody with some mm. All right, all right. You got me. You got all right. me. Because we're going to run a little bit, we're going to walk a little bit, we're going to teach a little bit, and we're going to preach a little bit. Is that all right? Amen. Okay, now, because I, I, I need some help on tonight. Yes, guys. Because I'm, I'm a little bit hoarse, so I need some help. So we got the keyboard player. Yes, guys. We got, we, we got the, the reader. Thank you, God. Yes, sir. Now, now I, I heard somebody singing, but I ain't going to press her. Now, now we need a songstress. Thank you, God. And and when I tell you to do something, you gonna have to do. You gonna have to be okay. You gonna have to. When, 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 when I tell you what to do, you gonna have to do it. And we gonna be out of here. Is that all right? Is that all right? So where's my songstress? Come on, come on. Don't be afraid of that gift God put down on the inside of you. She, she can sit down in her seat and do Thank you, God. She ain't got to be up here. All right. What is this? We've been equipped. Yes, yes, yes. To educate, empower, uh -huh. yes, Lord. and elevate. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. So what my, what my, my songs just say? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. All right. You know how to give out a, 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 a war cry. You you know your war cry. You know it. Oh. Oh. Yes. And can't nobody take it from us. 
Yes. Amen. You understand that it's been given by God. Yes. And, and I don't want to get ahead of I feel myself getting ahead of myself. Oh my God. But I, I'm going I'm to pull my own coattail and say, slow down, girl. Take your time. Uh, empower. To give someone the authority or power to do something. God gave us that. He gave us authority. He gave us power. Yes. Jesus. And we got to do something with it. Amen. Elevate. To rise a little something to a higher position. We've been called to rise, raise up those that need to go to a higher position yes. in God. Amen, right. amen. Come on. Not on your job, but in God. Yes, come yes, on. Yes. We need to go higher yes, yes. in God. Yes, amen. Higher in our way of living. Yes. Higher in the way we love. Yes. Amen. Higher in the way we give. Yes. Come on. Higher Come on in the way we do things. Yes. yes. Amen. We have been equipped to do this. And we can't fail God. Equipped. It means to supply with the necessary we have been called by God to supply the necessary items needed for a particular person right. mm. to make them ready. We've been simply called to prepare Jesus. a generation Amen. to make me ready. For what is needed. So I come to tell every woman. In the building tonight. That you have what it takes. All right. In this women's conference. 2023. God has equipped you. With everything that you need. In order to get. The job done. Amen, amen. Can I get a witness? Amen, amen. You got to know that it's going to take change, change to bring a generation right. out of what they've been in. Amen. Right. My God. It's going to take change to equip them, it's going to take change to empower them. Amen, Jesus. It's going to take change to educate them. Mm. And you know where it starts? They want to say it starts in the school system. But it starts with us. Right. The holy women of God. Amen. The women that God has put his word down on the inside of yeah. us. And we won't take down. Right. We won't give in. But we will cry loud. Yeah. And we will spare the night. Yes, yes, and yes. we will show the people this. Right. Yes, yes, yes. And the house of Israel, their sin. That's something we don't want to do. Because we want to be in the clique. Well, I come to tell you tonight, I don't want to be in the clique. I want to please God. Amen, amen, amen. When I open my mouth, I want to be able to say something that will bring somebody out of God. Yes, Jesus. Into the marvelous Ooh, light. Thank you, God. Because we need change in our home. Yes. Yes. We need change on our job. Yes. We need change in our community. Amen. We yes. need change in our family. Yes, 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 yes. And how is that going to happen? You got to have some women, some bold women of yes, God yes, yes. that have been equipped. Come on. Get the job done. Yes, yes, to yes, go God. Out there and elevate yes, God. God. Thank you, God. There is a better way. There is a better way. Come on, Jesus. Yes. You don't have to be out there 
selling your body. Come on. I'm telling you this because I've been equipped yes. by the Almighty Yes, God. yes, yes, yes. I'm not telling you this to throw stones, but I'm telling you there is yes. a better way. Yes. Yeah, there is. There is a better way. A better way. You got to know Come on. without a shadow of a doubt yes. who you are in Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Come when on. I thought about the apostle. My Paul, God. Glory be to God. Anybody remember the apostle Paul? Come on. One thing I like about Apostle Paul, he didn't take down. Even when they talked about him. Yeah. Oh my God. Come on. They said stuff like oh, he ain't no preacher, man. Come on. Y'all know the word? Thank you. They talked about Paul, yeah. the great apostle. Yeah. He ain't no preacher, man. My God of Zion. Jesus. His words are heavy. Come on. Oh yes. Jesus. Oh, they still talked about it. Man. Oh my God. They said, Paul, what you gonna do? Huh? My God. You don't even look like a preacher. My huh? God. My God of Zion. Huh? Yeah. But you can't Come worry on. about huh? yes. what people think about you. Come on. You got to know tonight yes. huh? that you have been equipped. Yes. Huh? You got to know tonight yes. that you've been called. Huh? Yes, yes, you yes. You got yes. to know tonight yes. huh? that you've been labeled. Yes. Huh? Without a fight, 
Preaching. You ain't gonna be empowered without a fight. My God. Because the enemy is gonna fight you yes. with tooth and nail. Yes, he is. He's gonna fight you with everything that he got. You think spiritual warfare is something else. I come to tell you when you've been called by God, spiritual warfare is going to be your worst enemy. They're going to hunt you down during the day. They're going to hunt you down in the middle of the night. They're going to hunt you down in your sleep when you feel like everything is going right. Here come the devil. Here come the devil with his schemes, with his tricks, with his we're trying to pull you back huh, and tell you huh, you can't do it. Huh, but somebody shout, huh, I've been equipped. Huh, I've been equipped. Huh, I did a set. Huh, I did a shout. I've been equipped. I've been chosen. I've been called out. I've got the seal. It means war. 
Amen. And you must fight it with everything you can. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Jesus. In order for there to be an outcome, not a defeat, but you're coming out on the weakness. Yes, God. Yes. Because when you got Jesus on your side, you will win. Oh, hallelujah. You will win. Yes, women, yes, yes, so God. Come on now. You will win. W-O-W. You are women of war. Thank you, God. Chosen by God. Clap your hands. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. You are the couple that you need. Because you've been chosen by the almighty God. You can't go into this thing any kind of way. You can't go in there with no bullets in your gun. I'm talking natural, but y'all catching me. You can't go in there with an empty gun. You can't go in there carrying your shield in your hand. You got to put on. Yeah, you got you, your armor. You can't go in there without that armor. Amen. You got to put the armor on. Yes. That's protection. Jesus. In the word of God. Yes. Amen. So, woman of God, I want you to get Ephesians 6 and 10. And we're going we to sit down and we're going to go home. And, and, and I pray that we've said something to encourage you on tonight. Amen. Because you are women of war. Yes. You have been called. Anointed, appointed, yes, ordained by God, even before the foundation of the world. Amen. Even before you was a woman, a woe went out into the atmosphere. Thank you, God. And that woe gave you everything that you need All right. to get the job done. So let's stay equipped. Yeah. In his word. Amen. We've been equipped yes. for this battle. Yes, yes, yes. We got everything yes. that it takes yes. to get the job done. Yes. And I want to reiterate it. I want to put it down in your belly. Amen. That when you go to bed at night, yes. you can hear God say, Yes. You got what it takes to get the job done. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. Don't let nobody tell you that you're not a child of the king. Don't you let nobody tell you that you haven't been called out. That you haven't been chosen to bring about a difference. Yes, yes. Change in this world, you know, we need change. Yes, oh, yes, we do. Everywhere you look, evil all around, evil at your doorstep, evil at your back door. Oh, my God, when we come to you, you're gonna have to know just what to do. You can't go sit down.
But I want you to read it powerful because we want to make the devil man. We want to love the devil. Declare this word. 